Oh, gosh. Anyway, so listen. In the studio right now, we're about to talk about something important and something very serious, especially if you want to venture into content creation. This is a field that you need to be well versant with. OK, I've got Elizabeth Lenger with me in studio. She's a chairperson, copyright tribunal, intellectual property, entertainment, media and fashion law expert. Hey, Liz. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. How you are you? Beautiful. I'm good. Yeah, Sante. <laughs> thank you so much. I know you were here really early, so thank you so much for coming through and honoring our invite. I understand you came from the coast. Yes, I live in Malindi. You live in Malindi? Yes. How is that like? It's awesome. I love the beach. It's chill. Yeah. Yeah. What haraka, kuna pressure. Yeah, like when you mean you kuna pressure. I work on Nairobi time. Oh, you work on Nairobi <laughs> time. It's, it's a struggle, right, for people from Nairobi to settle in that with the pace that yeah. moves in the coastal region. Yeah, you know when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. Yeah. You go to the supermarket, you chill. You're like, okay, get served. Yeah. Pole pole, taratibu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Alhamdulillah. 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 Yeah. Your prayers. Yeah, Leo. <laughs> uh, when did you When did you go? Um, it's been about two and a half years now. Yeah, you're loving yeah. it? I love it. Yeah. I'm oh, enjoying wow. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, what inspired the move? What made you want to move? I think um, the fact that during COVID, people embraced technology. Mm -hmm. It was it. Because at the time, we already had the infrastructure at my farm, and we could meet clients online. But most of the time, guys would be like, Wakili, I have to see you. You'll run away with my money. And I'm like, dude, there's a camera. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's all these laws that protect you from me in case I become rogue. Yeah. So, but now, you know, people are using technology, and it was so much easier. Now it'd be like, yeah, we meet on Skype, we meet on, on uh, Zoom yeah. or Google Chat or whatever. So I think it changed the game. Yeah, it did. It changed the game. How am I in a meeting in the car in traffic? How am I in the... I'm in a meeting. <laughs> my boss knows I'm supposed to be at work. I'm at the beach. And they're like, can you log on to, you know, Zoom real quick? And I'm like, my, my camera has a problem. We can't video, <laughs> but, we can, but we can talk. Yeah. Now, Liz, you're here today to talk about IP. So let's start with definitions. What exactly is intellectual property? So intellectual property are creations of the mind. All right. And then there's intellectual property law, which is the law that helps now protect these creations of the mind. Right. For the longest time, people have been like, yo, uh, property is just shamba. It's just land. But you see, we have also in, intangible, like you can't touch it, but you can see it. This show, we can feel it, right? We can touch it, but we can feel it. It's IP. It's NTV's intellectual property. And one thing that we normally hear is people are like, oh, I want to patent an idea, right? So patent is really misused, but it's a form of IP protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So IP is like the highest form of protection that you have. And you have to be the first one in the whole world to have created it. Yeah. So that threshold is really high and it's applied on tech stuff. Um, you know, manufacturing. Because it's um, easier to prove. Yeah, to show. yeah, because yeah, you're, you're basically showing that there's what we call no prior art. Like, you, mm. it's never been seen. It's never been yeah. done before. So people, when people are saying, I want to patent an idea, no, they, they want to protect the expression of the idea. Mm. So IP law basically helps you now identify how to protect this um, uh, expression of idea because we don't protect the idea. The idea is so raw, yeah? I can have an idea of a show, but it's just an idea, right? Until I express it, then I can protect it. Mm, yeah. So then clarify the difference between a patent and a copyright. All right. So a patent is, uh, it has this threshold where it has to be new, uh, it has to be novel, never seen before, and industrially applicable. Mm. So basically it means it applies on th things to do with tech, manufacturing, um, very scientific type of creations, yeah. And then there's copyright, which now uh, protects expression of ideas, and it cuts across, you know, music, film, artistic works. So if you look at like soap operas, right, they generally have the same story going they down, do. right? Yeah. But it's how it's expressed. You know, if you look at say, I don't know, Mali and Sultana, for example, right? They kind of have like some similarities in terms of the story, but it's how they're told, it's how they're acted, the performance, like that expression is what sets it apart and that's what is protected. Yeah. If you drew a giraffe right now and I drew a giraffe, both of our giraffes would be protected because I will, I will draw it differently, you'll yeah. draw it differently. Yeah. So it's that expression that's different, but they can be similar, but different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't do a giraffe um, to save my <laughs> life. <laughs> so, uh, so what, what, ki what other kinds of intellectual property can one create? You've talked about tech, you've talked about manufacturing, what others, are, you know? Yeah, so we also have what we call industrial designs. Yeah. So, and that would be what, what protects now the aesthetics. So like yeah. the earrings that you're wearing, mm -hmm. as long as it's new and different, 
you protect the aesthetic. So it doesn't look at the functionality. Patents look at the functional aspect of an innovation. But uh, industrial design looks at the beauty. So even this chair we're sitting on, it would be about the beauty. Um, and then we have trademarks, really important, yeah? Because trademarks is about the branding, uh, the kind of brand that you give your, your product. It cannot be descriptive. So if I sell shoes, for example, I can't call it Liz shoes. I've already described my good, right? Yeah. So I have to use it differently. I'll yeah. give another example, like the app, Apple, yeah? An apple is a fruit, but used on a, on a computer, it's different. It's been uniquely applied, so yes. it qualifies for a trademark, yeah. right? So you do not, if you describe your good or service, then it's not a trademark. Mm. And then uh, we also have now something that's really coming up, that's traditional knowledge and cultural expressions. And for the longest time, we've been using, uh, you know, our cultural assets to produce stuff from fashion to music and whatnot. And now there's conversations that we have to start you know, giving back to the communities, paying back the communities, right? It could be either through money or through in kind, for example, like giving jobs or whatever, but it would be up to the community to decide. That is yet to take effect, but we have a law in Kenya. We are one of mm. the first few African countries to already have that law, but it, it, it needs regulation, so that's still pending. But we are already seeing, you know, a lot of Kenyans already working with communities and communities are benefiting because they're aware of this law. Yeah, in fact, speaking of communities, let's speak about the Maasai community. I don't know if you remember this, but a few years ago, I think it was Burberry, right? It was Louis Vuitton. It was Louis Vuitton? Yeah. And they just blatantly had the Maasai Shuka slapped on these models, costing like 200, 300K. Who failed us? What were we supposed to do? Well, um, when, when we are organized, it's easier to move as a unit, right? So at the time, perhaps uh, the Maasai community would have found a way to reach to LVMH mm. and have a conversation. Yeah. But again, at the same time, with traditional knowledge and cultural expressions, there's a lot to still be unpacked. Because yeah. remember, it's, broad, you know, it's, it's really wide. It's, it's, it's not even that. It's mm -hmm. about, we also borrow a lot from different cultures. And yeah. for us to assert TK and, and cultural expressions, communities have to sit down and say, this is what I own. And then we also have a conversation because then you find like there's some property that has some Kamba, Kikuyu, yes, Maasai, Somali. From all like, over. Yeah, exactly. So we need to figure that out so that then we are fair in the application. Because yeah. we need to remember that these laws are local. Yeah, they apply locally, not even international, locally. So that means if we are not careful, I will prevent you from using something even possibly from your culture because we've not had that conversation. Mm. So hopefully, as, as times are moving, we will start unpacking it because it's really important. It's, it's really stalled a lot of innovation. Um, so, so we've had uh, you know, conversations around even cabs. They cannot standardize products because they don't know what to do. They are aware of a TK, but there's some brilliant Kalenjin young man who's packaging Mursik for sale, but they're like, what do we do? What yeah. do we do? So they're waiting <laughs> for direction. So... I think there's some sort of stalemate when it comes to traditional knowledge and cultural expressions, yeah. but we're getting there. Okay, well, that's about culture, but let's now discuss content creators. I yeah. know you saw the story of David Moya, the dancer, Mi amor, na na na, and he, you know, is, is, is talking about suing these dancers who are copying his style, which is how he's now making money. It's how people have known him um, online, and that's how he made a name for himself. But now people are copying it. And I didn't even know he had a case. Does he have a case? Yes, I think he does. So this is the thing, though. Choreography. So it's not about a dance move. Choreography is what qualifies for copyright protection, which means it's a set of moves, not just one set. And then the other thing is, if you want to prove copying or what we also call copyright infringement, then you have to see some what we call substantial copying, like a lot of it has been lifted. Mm. Now, the trick with, with choreography is that sometimes the moves uh, originate from just some common gestures, like this could turn into a dance move, right? Then the next thing. So it will be about, so after this, what happens after that? Then now I'm able to see, oh, there's substantial copying. Yeah, there's infringement, right? Yeah. So there's a few things to look into but he could probably have a case. Okay, what about Atwoli? And Allah, 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 <laughs> he patented it. Yeah. What does that even mean? Like, so, so now, <coughs> I can't say Allah, like, I need to understand. So, so let's start by correcting, yeah? yeah. Like, you, you see what happened right there? You, you confused and said patent. I did, actually. Yeah? It's, mm, yeah, so it's a and trademark. You just yeah, it. It's yes. a trademark. It's yeah. the brand. Yeah. So, like, for him, what he did is he declared certain classes. So when you're registering a trademark, you're asking yourself, what, what kind of business am I in, right? So let's put an example of the trend. The trend is a TV show. 
so it would be in the class of entertainment. Then if you decided to do merchandise, you will add the class where you do merchandise, label the trend, so from shoes to clothes, whatever, right? So he did the same thing, and he specified certain classes. So, but he does not you know, prevent you from saying Allah, Allah, Allah. And then at the same time, we have what we call flexibilities or exceptions. You know, so if, for example, if you're reading the news, if you said Allah even, actually if you said it the way he does, verbatim, you're not infringing. Okay. Because you're doing it in the context of news. Yeah. Right? So, <coughs> but he's not, he's not excluding anyone from saying it the way he, he does or, or even saying it at all unless now you apply it like one of the classes he included was merchandise. So unless I put it on a t-shirt and I put it the way he has Allah, 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 yeah. then that would be infringement. Oh, there is the young man who... Um, who came up with Mapem and your best. Also, Kenyans come up with a lot of things on Twitter. You never know which one is going to like yeah. have a life of its own. But then there was Mapem and your best. Now, I don't know if you've seen it anywhere, but there was a company that used it to, you know, sort of like sell something. Yeah. In the event of something like that, what should he do then? So for you to have a strong case, you must register your IP. Okay, fine. Be it a trademark, be it a copyright, be it an industrial design, yeah. whatever it is, you must register it. So which means as, as youth, we have to start believing in our creations. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because the challenge is most of the time people are not, they don't believe in themselves until they see someone who's and they're like, ah, yeah, I could have made money. Yeah. So now in this instance, if you've not registered, then we'll have what we call um, a, a backup plan, which would be what we call the thought of passing off. So basically, people already know that it's been yours, but now this company, you're not going after them for trademark infringement because you don't have a registration. So basically, you'll be, you'll be telling them you're passing it off as yours and it's mine. And then now you have the responsibility to prove that it's yours. Yeah, mm. which can sometimes be problematic eh? because the court will start asking you very many questions. And then they're like, okay, so how have you used it? Have you used it on anything? And you're like, okay, I only tweeted it once. Yeah. It becomes a challenge, yeah. right? So I think people need to start registering and then use their own IP also on social media so that it's seen and it's, you know, they're shouting, this is mine, this is me, this is what I've created. The more you do that, then it's easier also to point to the author or the creator. I like how Steve o Simple Boy does it, actually, because he will say it over and over again and he will own the word and he will put it on a T-shirt and he will put it on a hoodie and he will make mugs and it will be evident that I am the one who came up with this word. Um, and my producer was just telling me this before. You know, there are words like Hakuna Matata. Um, I know there was something. Then if you could talk to me in my ear, he was telling me something about other countries. Um, we talked about the Kikoi, he's also telling me about the Kikoi, which is the shuka that we were discussing, but there are all these other words and things. And okay, so Akuna Matata was also taken, I understand it was, okay. I'm <laughs> trying to now say it nicely, so they, <laughs> they, the copyright. It was trademark infringed. Yes. You see, I'm just yeah. like, that. just so Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you learning? Are you oh, learning you're something? Learning. Okay, you're fine. Uh -huh. So now let's unpack Hakuna Matata. So this is the thing with trademarks, yeah? If you use it uniquely, it, you, you get it. You, you get that registration, right? So if you look at our language, Hakuna Matata, it's Swahili, it's common. No one has taken it away from us. But this is a trademark registered in the U.S., yeah? So in the U.S., you say Hakuna Matata, it sounds cool. <laughs> you brand it on a T-shirt. It's not describing anything. It was used in a film. It's, it's language, yeah? So in, in, in the face of it, like with how trademarks work, it's okay, right? They've, we, they've not taken away any of our rights as Kenyans. They have not. They've just uniquely branded their products and they're selling them. And then, of course, their market is the U.S. Then some of them will come here, some will buy, some won't. But we already have local designers also who do Hakuna Matata. I'm sure you've seen those t-shirts, yeah, right? of course. So they still operate on the same. And you've not seen Disney bringing mm. any drama, any wahala, like, oh, no. Nah, because... That's their market. Also, and the other thing is IP nerve, is though, territorial. Yeah. Yeah, it's territorial. So if you look at here, like you'll see some restaurants named after using French words. We have Bonjour. We have, um, you know, like we have so many of these restaurants. Chow, yeah, whatever Chow, is, yeah. whatever. Like, so it's that. It's that unique application of another language in our, in our country. And people will go in and then they'll be like, oh, maybe I'll go to Bonjou because I feel I'll get a legit croissant or something or I'll go to this restaurant. So it's about that uniqueness. Yeah. But uh, the TK conversation, traditional knowledge and cultural expressions has been changing that game. So there's still, again, like I said, a lot to be unpacked there. But in yeah. the traditional sense, you know, um, if we were to 
prevent people from using language, it will be dangerous. It means right now, as we speak English, do you know that English deri is derived from German? So that means we'll be paying German some royalties. Yeah, you and <laughs> you I. Know? Yeah, you and I. <laughs> so I think there's some balance that we still need to figure out. Yeah. But in the traditional sense, we, they didn't take away anything from us. Mm. They did not. It's murky. murky yeah, it's, water. it's murky, but... <laughs> now, we've seen uh, public participation being announced. What is public participation? I don't feel like it's very self-explanatory, but... Yeah. Expound. So, you know how we say the law is for the people by the people? It truly is. So what happens, like for me as the chair of the Copyright Tribunal, I'm just a mouthpiece for the creative industry, for the copyright industries to figure out how the tribunal can work for the people. Yeah. So we have these regulations or even when there's a law that is put in place, there'll, there'll be what we call public participation, where you're told here's access to the legislation or the law. Please read and tell us what you think. And then what you think is taken as feedback and some changes will be made to reflect what is on the ground. Because a law should reflect what is happening in the society, right? So now we have the regulations for the tribunal and they're basically telling Kenyans, if you have an issue, if you have a copyright dispute, don't go on social media, please come here. Mm. <laughs> come to us and we'll help you figure out your dispute. We'll help you, help you save time and money. Yeah. So the regulations tell you how do you file a complaint in the in the tribunal it's very it's in very simple english there's a very simple form and because in our tribunal you can represent yourself you don't need to have a lawyer you can represent yourself so that's why again it's really important that people review these regulations that the youth review these regulations so that then they come to us and even where they feel like we may not have that power they still come because that is data that will also give the judiciary and even parliament and say you know what these are the issues we are seeing the youth facing and maybe if we amend or change the laws to this extent, then we cover this problem. So yes. that is why public participation is important for any law. Yeah. Yeah. The draft, um, <clears throat> the draft copyright tribunal regulations. Is that what you're referring to? The one yes. Where we need, okay. Fine. Yeah. So that's right. how you know you move the yeah. court. You basically come mm -hmm. and file a complaint, yes. and then there's okay. guidelines in terms of how we will hear you. What mm -hmm. else can you ask for? So for example, you know, like in in, in the copyright space. We find like, um, you know, I might have access to your, to your work, right? Yeah. And you want to prove that I stole your work. And I'm using that word loosely because we have legal lingua. <laughs> yeah, but you want to prove it. And you have seen maybe my laptop has this evidence. You can come to us and get an, a special order where you make sure that I don't tamper with that evidence so that you can come and use it to show us or show mm -hmm. the court that the, actually Liz infringed on my copyright. <coughs> she stole my work and she has copied. Yeah. So we ha that's one of the powers we have. All right. Musicians, do they get to represent themselves? And yeah, they can. Okay. They can. All you right. have the choice. Even, even in any other court of law, you have the choice mm -hmm. to appear as yourself yeah. or get a lawyer or a legal representative. So when you have a dispute, how do you go about it? What are the steps? So um, at the moment, we, that's what we are now putting to Together. public okay. participation. Yeah. But basically, there's a form you will fill. Um, it's labeled, and it tells you what you need to do. You put your name, you'll put the nature of the dispute, um, and then there'll, there'll be like a request for some of the um, like evidence. So if there's contracts, if there's emails, if there's whatnot, all that stuff. If you have mm. your copyright registration certificates, like you basically package. The yeah. good thing with the tribunal, because <coughs> it's a specialized court, we're not like a traditional court where we'll be like, object, your honor, out. <laughs> no. no, we're not like that. Okay. We'll basically be like, okay, so Amina, um, you're saying this happened to you, mm. but I don't see document X. Yes. Do you have it? Then you say, oh, yes, I have it. And I'm like, okay, then please bring it to us within two days, da, da, da. And make sure you give the other party, they have a look, and then on this day we'll come and listen to you. Okay. So like there's guidance, yeah? And we even have options where to an instance we can even tell you guys, you know what, I mean, I think you guys, do you, do you really need... Go, go and talk out there and, and tell us. Settle it and then yeah. come and tell us. Mm. And then we stamp that agreement. Yeah. yeah. So we give you the opportunity. We even guide you and say, you know what? I think if you There's guys talked, way. you'll There's save time and money. There's yeah. a way. <laughs> how, do you, how do you, like, when we're talking compensation, mm -hmm. right? There you are. You're representing yourself. How do you, is it a decision? Are you the one who just decide, decides? Who decides how much you get compensated for, you know, when you're settling these disputes? So industry standards are really important. And that's what we would look at mm -hmm. as a tribunal. First, okay. we'd look at industry standards. If it's a photograph, for example, that someone used without authorization. Yeah, even you, by the time you, you're asking a court or the tribunal that I am owed X amount of money, it's based on some facts, right? So that even for us, when we're doing our research, we can actually 
say this is fair, right? And that's one of the other powers that we can do as a tribunal, although at the moment it's really narrow, it's, it's been narrowed to only musical works, but eventually, hopefully, during the year, as, as also now Kenyans are learning more about copyright, they'll realize that <coughs> as a court, as a tribunal, we can do more for the copyright industry. So for yeah. now, if a musical works is used in a broadcast, without the musician's permission, yes, then I've seen that. We, can, we can grant that. We can yeah. review fair compensation and tell them you're owed X amount of money. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just for them right now, but all other works are also entitled to that. If I use that photograph without clearing mm -hmm. the rights, then I should, uh, you know, the, the photographer should get some fair compensation, right? So, but now it's, it's kind of narrow, but we'll get there as Kenyans know more about the act. Yeah, I see it happen in music a lot, where either we have the same producer or I get the instrumental. Um, and I sometimes you see people, you know, they sing word for word, whether it's the chorus, whether it's whatever it is, it's, it's just very similar. In that, it, in that type of situation, do I also present, you know, just the files to show that I had recorded it earlier? How do you prove that? Because they'll both claim yeah. to have been the original artist. So this is the thing also with music, though. It's, it's very interesting. Yeah. Because remember with music, mm -hmm. uh, in music we have what we call copyright and related rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a copyright in the music, which is the composer. Um, the composer is a person who actually now creates the beat, right? And then there's the author who will write the lyrics. So you find that sometimes Kenyans will say, oh, I'm a producer or I'm the producer, but the producer in the actual sense now speaks to the related right where you pay for it, right? So if I go to a studio and I am um, asking, uh, uh, say, let's say, J Blessing, I tell J Blessing, give me a beat, yeah? Then I have to have a conversation with J Blessing whether he's giving me that beat exclusively or non-exclusively. Is it for me alone or he can use it with other people? Yeah, you see where we're going with yes. that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by the time you're coming to say, um, this is my music, this is my composition, yeah. then we already have that in check. You have what we call a split sheet. So many of our artists are not using split sheets. It's almost like a title deed, where us as friends, we agree and we say, okay, we are writing a song together. Amina, you did the chorus. It's awesome. But I did all the verses. Maybe I deserve 60%, you deserve 40%. Like we have that conversation, we have it on a split sheet. Because this split sheet as well helps us get more money for the song. If this song is used in a movie, for example, yeah, someone sings it in a movie, it's, it's, that's usage. We should get paid. The song itself, without the recording, we would get paid and we'd make some money. But how will someone touch that music if they don't know who owns what? Yeah. yeah. So the split sheet is really important. So you find that there will be those things that they need to have the split sheet, and then, of course, the registration. And we tell people, please don't register copyright out of malice. Mm. If, if we truly own it, let's sign. Let's own it together. Let's have that certificate in our name. Just like yeah. the way when we buy land. Yeah. If we buy land, if you buy land with your husband, you want your name there, right? Of course. So <laughs> exactly. Of course so if we're going to write a song <laughs> together, we're going to write so, a movie together. And you know together. what happens? People then think you're so difficult when you con constantly ask for the split sheet. Yeah. And you only do it because... Do you see this uncomfortable conversation we're having now of the split sheet? Yeah. We're still going to have it eventually. So exactly. let's just have it now. We have it now. Let's, it's like a prenup. Let's yes. just sign it now. <laughs> okay, and get it over with. What do you tell young creatives who are trying to get into the art space? I'd tell them, invest in yourself. Just show up for some of the events or some trainings. They're not trying to turn you into a lawyer or an accountant, but they're trying to just give you enough knowledge for you to know if you're even being lied to. Mm. Right? So like when we have IP trainings, we're not trying to convert any artist or msani into, into an IP lawyer. But we're giving them enough info for them to, when they are out there, they will know, ah, this doesn't sound right. Yeah. Or, wow, this one, he's lying to me. You yeah. know, that's what we're Knowledge doing. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Yeah. So we always tell them, invest in yourself. And secondly, do what we call protective lawyering. A lawyer is more affordable when you're starting out That's true. than when you're in when you're in trouble. Mm. Yeah, because by the time you come to mm. Elise or any other lawyer, you're like, yeah. I'm being sued. You can smell <laughs> the desperation. Yes, and yeah. then already your your desperation becomes my desperation. Yes. So you have to pay for you me to, to carry your bag. Express. Yes. It's like <laughs> but when you come and say, Yo, Liz, I need I need a split sheet. We're writing yeah. a song. I'll be like, Yeah, here. That's like a quick. 5k oh, or sense. less yeah. and and you're like yeah so this is what happens i explain to you there's no drama there and like yeah this is what i even give you guiding notes that 5k you would have used to make your hair mm. see you've invested in yourself in That's your business yeah? yeah so it's cheaper 
than when you come when you yeah. you have a, a, a suit. Yeah. So that's what I'll tell I'll tell the youth. And I'll say, leave friendship. Ubeshte. Twenty ubeshte kwa biz. Yeah. Because we see so many friends coming together, even siblings, an auntie and a, and a niece, and, and they forget that this is business. So when they come, they're like, no, but this is my auntie. He, she couldn't take it from me. She couldn't be dishonest. I'm like, no, you, if you're going to business, sign those contracts, That's true. period. It's true. Yeah. Sign them. Even if this is your, your childhood best friend, you've been exactly. through everything together. When it comes to money, things just occur. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. I really appreciate I prefer Liz, you taking so Thank time. you so much. That's your what? <laughs> I prefer Liz. You know what? Oh, you prefer Liz. I, w I, was, I, I felt like I was being so casual. I'm like, Liz, 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 this, Liz, that. Oh. And I'm like, no, she's <laughs> Elizabeth. Don't, don't let the title fool <laughs> you. <laughs> thank you so much, Elizabeth Lenjo. Ebu Osoroskia, Chairperson Copyright Tribunal, Intellectual Property, Entertainment, Media, and Fashion Law Expert. Mm, 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 eh? mm, Ebu Skia Uki mm. introduced Bibiako. Mm -hmm. Okay, so meet, meet, Amina, meet, meet my wife. This Amina, is, uh, you know, you know, Amina. For a moment, nilikuwa ni meanza ni kikuambia. You know, I'm single, but I'm I'm trying to think. Uwezani, you know, it will never be the same anymore. Ni kikuambia quick one, wakili kwa juu. You get what I'm saying, Amina? <laughs> Amina, you get it? <laughs> yes. If you don't get it, forget about it. A quick no, one, wakili. Hey, can you imagine marrying a lawyer? Can you imagine? Wow, when she leaves you, I just need you to know. But I mean, you know one thing about you know lawyers in Yachi, they are tough out here. Like ni kwa nyumba mtu kama Lizu na ni mtu mnyenye kile. Nikaa tukitoka kwa nyumba leo asubuhi. You're so silly. Anyway, but also because you're a content creator, did you learn? A lot. Okay. I mean, I just learned a lot in Megundu and Milali Amaskio. We are lazy. Yeah. Most Kenyan uh, content creators are lazy. Sisi bora tu mtu amemonetize pale YouTube. Anapokea doe yake. Until something happens, that's when sasa unataa kukimbia. Utafte. Ni nani tulikuwa tunasoma na e-class moja ni lawyer? <laughs> hey, ni aje, eh, eh, jo, jo, niko na kakesi kadogo. Kwanza that's how it is. Ni kadogo, ni kadogo. Uneza ni shugulikia. <laughs> but one thing about lawyers that I, I mean, ni ati, awajai kubali kesi nenda kwa shinda. I don't know why. Like, that's all true. of them wana kuangana, ah, hii umeshinda. That is so true. Hii umeshinda. <laughs> that is so Baka true. Baka ta ona, ona, Liz, ona. <laughs> That is so true, Liz. Why do you guys do that? So, um, I think I think my 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 fellow advocates, some of them will hate on this. But in all honesty, you know when you say the law is in black and white, it truly is in most most of the time. So when you give me a case, I will already know whether it's a okay. You know, I'll know. Yeah. Is it? But is, but, but I but guess because the fight is against poverty. And, and then <laughs> yeah, there's that. But the fight is and against then, poverty. Um, there's that thing for everyone has a right to be heard. Mm. So of course they'll push it. But I, I you know, having also interned uh, outside, you know, I, I, I interned in, in, in the US mm, mm, and I saw mm. how lawyers do it. Mm. I was so impressed. Like those guys who call each other and say, Yo, your client and yeah, they did they did wrong. Um, ask your person if they can do this and my client will back off. Yeah. And the guy calls and says, Yeah, yeah, in your way, it's true. Abe, my abe client hey, maze, Ali Dunda. Ali so <laughs> I try to make counter offer. Yeah. Sawa. I'll tell the cli client, no, 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 no. Yeah, so client I'm kubali, da la la settlement agreement, pam pam, oh. everyone gets paid, they move. Yeah. So you they know? tell you, they tell you from the jump, they're like, you know what? Yeah. Uli wa mama. Exactly. Uli muwa, and there's nothing we like the all evidence is pointing yes. at you. Yeah. So uh, we are generally agree. adversarial. We, we love yeah. to fight. Yeah. But there are those people who are like, you know what? I will Just make try. more money when we are more peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> no, the lawyers yeah, like I kitu sasa and idakika moja hi. Wasi kubagaishe, wasi kubagaishe. Amina. Yes, so sorry. I think with most Kenyan lawyers, I think even the memes that have been trending zile za lawyer anakuambia wewe ukiona nimetoka mbio ni fuate you know such such things uko zile za ukweli by the way kesi inaweza mlemea but one amazing feedback nimepata hapa mina it's from Jarusinga who is saying great work great show enlightening debate amependa sana you know sometimes it's not even about ku dance hapa na kuongelelea karibu nitaje wig but about such conversations you know amina where unaka chini sasa unaambiwa yes uko na talent dj hii yeah. unaweza mix but hii kumix yako wimbo wewe hujaimba wewe ni kumix mm. how can you by the patent tuitumie tu kila mahali hiyo ndio siku zote i don't like it tena tunaambiwa ku patent sio hiyo tena i mean let me tell you something funny you know there's a guy who went and did a gig using my name 
Sasa hiyo ni sasa hiyo ni crime ya DJ. Hiyo ni crime. Hiyo ni sexual harassment. Hiyo ni hiyo ni torture. What is that man? It's 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 inaitwaje hii? Sexual harassment. Hii yani hiyo hiyo sasa ni mtu amekufanyia uko joba kwa nyumbani na mtu wako all that together. Corruption. Corruption. Okay, well fraud. <laughs> like kila kitu tu, ni kila yeah, kitu. Kila kitu. In, in, a, in an event like that, I mean that that's a crime now. That's identity theft, right? Um you could argue that but I, on a, on an IP level, it would be a trademark infringement as long as DJE are going to trademark. Uh, so DJE do you have a trademark? We are going to call it trademark. That's it. Bora na kofia na kona dex. Yeah, ko sawa. I'm happy trademark. I'm really glad you're here. So, at least there's an there process. Wameshapata biashara tayari. Eh, hapo. Masoro na venye watu wanaongelesha kwa kando. You know one thing about DJE, ni anadhani ni biashara ya parking hapa chini. Shika hizo mtu wangu nichungie. He has to he has to but anyway, tutaongea hata mimi I need a lot of things to patent like like mbu ya muono lazima kaka yetu ni kangu tena nisiende nisiende ma award winning actor <laughs> that's true i like that <laughs> yes so we need amina nikiendelea mm -hmm. uh, of course kwenye hashtag meme challenge and of course liz pia uh, uh, wakili atatuambia what comes to our mind akipatana na mubaba kama huyu but we have at lumumba oino saying when she says chill for me and the coach i'm on the coach i'm coming mbu ya muono kabisa ujana ikikushika ukiwa mzee that's from charles uh, escoba <laughs> ati wewe umezeeka lakini ka ujana ka kuiku nini uh, ati this is a conversation between this guy mashari and his gukana uza gukana sasa ukiwa mtu huyu likuwa naenda mabash gukana sema Uh, looking for his album of photos and pulls out this where i wanna venye ni moto yeah <laughs> do you guys have photo albums anymore well we do i do, I do. yeah i do yeah couple like tukitoka kwa nyumba na liz in the morning i was showing her this picture tulikuwa nilikuwa navanga tu ka kinyasa nini ka t-shirt peke you know how used to be freestyle nini back in the days tukiwa watu hii and Liz could not relate because umesikia mali alifanya internship amina nimesikia walifanya internship internship au ulifanya wapi hapo magaki eh hapo karibu kenyata ni ulifanya yeah nimeshuka wa mama hapo kenyata amina hii ya ku nini hivi kuwaweka hapa hapa una wapo wewe unalala nini I would just, I would just, oh sorry you can't do that again on air. We just do it. Yeah. Si wana kaanga hapa. Can you see? Sasa ni ku nini tu? We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. It's uh it's late. It's now Saturday. I can see the crew is wondering is this Akesha? <laughs> are we are we here all night? So we have to say good night, goodbye DJ E. Yes. Uh b before before tumalize I told you I am I'm full of gifts. Niko na some at least some some a baby for Osoro. Eh eh. So what you need na Mr. Osoro. Mm. You guys bana. Eh it's no capping and I keep remind you guys bana. It's always a pleasure working with you guys. I have I can make a guess it's like a, it's a drawing na it better be me. Oh na yo. You have to This is okay this is from I need to mean as reaction. I need to mean as reaction. Yo nitaniambia kama ni mimi. Eh, so like moja moja is an artist eh? nice so alisema acha tufanye kitu hapa nice. so this is for DJ Mojo yes eh, DJ Mojo ako multi talented ni intellectual property hapa hivi muna <laughs> nimaliza so Mr. Soro here here you mahali. go all the best for a good award sign. award winning award winning award winning eh eh yes uendelee hivyo hivyo huyo ni mimi god bless you amina yes you now need to look at me in a different way amina <laughs> are you going to hang it in the house Sure, why not? Okay. Kwanza bed. You like it? Do we have it kwa ceiling? For all the reasons. No jikumbuke. No, no. Eh, Amina, Amina, Amina. I have. Iko hapa I need to present. Eh, Amina. Wewe una kufita hiyo bag by the way. So my. No kuna mic tuko nazo hapa zina to limit kidogo. Haya, eh. Kidogo ku ku deliver no shida. Mhm. So Amina, this is for you. I with the love Oh. Mbona nimekasirika sana kwa hiyo? Basi uko umekasirika mimi na like. No, hii ni more like badass. <laughs> yani yeah. Uh -huh. Looking yeah. it. Painting the inonesha venye nimeona. Thank you Mojo. I Mojo, can I get one for my Liz? For <laughs> you? <laughs> like any <laughs> kuna picha tunaenda kupigwa na Liz hapa. Mojo, how long did that take? 
How long? Mo- some hours. Some hours? Mojo akuje. Mojo si hapo tu mahali hapa namsikia. Mojo you can come stand Thank here. Thank you very much. She doesn't have a mic but you can be seen and you can wave. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. We really you appreciate wave. it. I really like that. Ingia, That's ingia, so ingia, ingia kwa shot. Yani, e, we've worked with you for years. Mojo has just been here 2023. Ah, and the next time we start on the show, ah. he has painting. Mime ni me-advocate, bana. Okay. Thank that you. That is really dope, manze, bro. Thank you. Iko so sawa, iko sawa, manze. Mm. Hey, Thank Mojo. you, Mojo. Mojo. Okay. Mojo tukiendelea yeah, hivi na hii tumewa kitu show mbili. Yadi. You can imagine by the time tupiga show mwaka mzima. Hata sijui ametubaia gari ama nyumba. Ametubaia gari ama nyumba. Wase mesao mesao zile siku nilikuwa ni kibai Sanford yani you guys you guys yani. Sasa tipo moja ni nataka kutangazia yani, Kenya mzima. Ati amewapangia amewapangia. Amepanga mamambo. Yeah. Usimtete. Okay. Sanford ijafungwa. Um I wanna see DJ is. I don't know why he hit. Eh. Ah no no I'm not hiding. Mimi sio najua ni shapeo yangu. But this one is Oh, nimechoka kwa nini alikuwa tuonyeshi. Bye this with wifey. Ah. Ehe. Mbia mono. Ah, mbia mono. Hii na hang pale kwa bedroom pale. Ah, nzuri nzuri nzuri. I like it. That is so cute. Thank you so much bro man. Mojo unataka kusema nini? Naona umeshika microphone. And nimepewa siku nimejipanga lakini. Tumbe kitu, tumbe kitu. Uh, oh, what was the inspiration I behind Yanu Kichora hizo? I just saying thank you. Uh, uh, kwa kuni invite mm. karibu sana. Eh uh, na appreciate sana. Mm. Ya yeah, eh uh, jina yangu imeenuka kidogo juu ya kuja hapa. Uh-huh. So nikurudisha shukran. Mm. Uh, yeah. Hebu shika mic vizuri ndio hivyo vile umeshika kuna watu wanafikiria. Osoro hapo ndio tunamalizia show. Just saying thank you. Just saying thank you. Mimi kazi sana sana kuna kijiji huko Isiolo wananitegemea tusicheze hizi mchezo hapa please but anyway thank you so much DJ Mojo uh, i didn't even know you you paint i didn't know that you do art i cannot draw to save my life i was just telling Liz i can't draw she was very the only thing you draw is conclusions it's true i yeah. do i'm a professional i'm a professional professional draw and jump Amina, yes also it's a good night from me mm-hmm. from mine to yours that's Liz from mine to you as Amina 